football players dream of getting a shot to play in the NFL. For Ross Homan, that opportunity is rapidly approaching on the eve of the NFL draft. But the linebacker still has questions on where the journey may take him. I, I mean, I have no really contact with me you now since the combine and, uh, and pro days, so uh, I don't know who likes me or uh, I, mean, I, I really have no clue. Homan, Ohio State's second leading tackler this past season, graduated in December. With the additional time off, the Buckeye hasn't slowed down as he tries to improve his stock before the start of tomorrow's draft. I know I'm really working out uh, right now with Schlegs and, uh, and Coach Lichter, so uh, I mean, still working out every day. The Ohio State standout is projected to be taken somewhere in the middle rounds. ESPN's main draft guru Mel Kuyper Jr. has Homan going to the Philadelphia Eagles in the third round with the 85th overall pick. But other analysts like ESPN's Todd McShay think the former Buckeye linebacker will have to wait longer to hear his name called in this weekend's draft. I'm anxious, nervous, you know, all of them, so uh, you know, I'm happy though. I can't uh, tell you rounds or teams, so uh, it's, uh, I guess I'll find out on uh, this weekend. The one thing draft experts agree on is that whichever team selects Homan is going to get a smart player who possesses great instincts for the game. But which teams are the most interested is still uncertain, and the linebacker says that's okay. I have no preferences. Uh, you know, I'm happy with whoever I know I get to go to get the opportunity to. For the draft, the former Cavalier will be back home with his family in Coldwater as they wait to see where Homan is headed to continue his football career. In Columbus, James Ryder, your news now, sports.